Hi all and uh, welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to talk about privacy and security. That is always a good idea to know something about on your device and it is an important topic to be familiar with. So let's get right into it. Have a look at your settings. So go into your settings app and in here under the section privacy and security, you have different options to look into what are the apps allowed to use for services on your device and things like that. So the first one is the location service on top here. In here you can see which apps are allowed to locate where your device is while you are using your app. And uh, down here, you can of course up at the top, turn off the location service for everything. And that could be if you don't want to be tracked or whatever, then you can turn that off. But a lot of apps are actually using this location service to help you. For example, your Google Maps, that is of course using your location service to help you find your way to your uh, party or to your work or whatever. But other apps, you might say, why is that calculator? ever going to use my location service. There could be no reason why. So for my calculator, I have of course turned off and said it is never allowed to use my location service. So uh, have a look at all your apps and see if it uh, have the right settings. And uh, of course, at the bottom, you have some system ser uh, services as well. That is actually using your uh, location service. So have a look at those. There is of course a few of those you would like to have enabled for the system services. That is the emergency and find my iPad. So uh, have a look at those and turn off the ones you don't want to track your device where you are. Let's go back and go down to the next one that I would like to focus on. It is the Bluetooth. So some of your apps is of course allowed to use your Bluetooth. For example, when you need to interact with other uh, devices uh, and things like that, that could be a good idea to have uh, the Bluetooth turned on. But for example, some of my streaming uh, uh, apps uh, don't really have a need for the Bluetooth. So for example, the last one here, I will turn off just to make sure that it's not using my Bluetooth and I don't see any reason why it should be using that. That was the Bluetooth, turn off, off as much as possible. Then we have the local network, that is your Wi-Fi that it is using and of course a lot of apps is using the Wi-Fi so it is really needed to be turned on. So uh, of course, only turn off the one who don't need the network at all. Then we have the microphone and that is actually a very important one that I'm very focused on myself. And uh, I don't want all my apps to uh, use my microphone. I only want the ones who really need them. So for example, Zoom, I use Zoom for meetings and things like that. That is, of course, important that it can use my microphone. Then we have the voice recorder. I also use that one. It really needs that. But again, then I see some of my streaming apps in here. And yeah, again, I don't really see a need for using my microphone. So I will definitely turn off those. So have a look at your own uh, microphone settings and uh, make sure to turn off as much as possible. Again, there is absolutely no need uh, for having access to a microphone if it is an app that don't really uses the voice interaction. Let's also have a look at uh, what we can actually then see what uh, apps are tracking what. So. Apple has introduced this app privacy report. And what is that? I know that a lot of uh, users don't really know it and it is 
uh, not turned on by default. So I have turned it on just to show you how it works. So in here you can see my different apps and what are those apps doing in the background. So you can see I have some different apps up here. So I could take the maps. It is using my location services, for example, and I could also take my message. It is accessing my contacts and things like that. But what I'm really focusing on here is the network activity, just seeing what apps are actually in the background using the network without me really uh, noticing. So you can see I have YouTube. My kids have been using YouTube, so it has, of course, used my local network and things like that. So you can get an idea if you suddenly see some apps in here that you haven't been using and you will then start speculating why is it really interacting with the network without being open yeah well then you know it is running in the background and there you should have a look at all your background apps activity and that will i will get back to in a, a few seconds but down here you have uh, also some more details about what kind of services are the different apps actually contacting in the background and as you can see there is a lot of different urls and apps uh, api and google things and all that kind of stuff so it is actually quite interesting to have a look at this app privacy report so i would recommend you to have a look at it once in a while and just see what is actually going on in the background while you are using your ipad and coming back to what i just said that is the background apps uh, that is really going on in the background. A lot of apps are actually running in the background without you knowing. So if you go into general, you can go into background app refresh. And in here you will get a long list of all different apps you have on your iPad or your device. And you can see if they are allowed to run in the background without being opened. And as you can see, a lot of those actually are running in the background. And I can see uh, some of them, there's absolutely no need for them to be running in the background. I only want them to be active when I'm opening up those. And a lot of apps ha has a tendency to really would like to run in the background. And for some of them, for example, some of the games, they would like to notify me so they get my attention and therefore they are running in the background once in a while and then pushing a notification on the screen just to make aware that I'm still uh, know that I have that game installed on my iPad. So have a look at some of your background app refresh settings and see if it is actually necessary for them to be running in the background. I hope this gave you a small idea about how to work with privacy and security settings on your device. And I hope I gave you some good ideas to look into different areas. If you have any comments or questions, put it in the comments section underneath this video. If you liked uh, this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And uh, of course, if you really like my channel and the videos I do, well, then give me a subscribe. I really appreciate that as well. Have a good day and talk to you soon.